morning guys! This morning I am in Akita Prefecture in northern Japan and I am at the most beautiful onsen I have ever seen in my life. This is Tsuru no Yu and it's one of the top 10 onsen in Japan and I can see it easily being number one. This place is so gorgeous. It dates back to the 1600s and if you just look around the buildings are amazing. They're all like thatched roof really like old style buildings just walking around the place is fun and then the baths are amazing there's seven different baths here the main bath which is located right behind me here is actually konyoke which means mixed both men and women can enter at the same time but you're allowed to wear a towel right up until when you enter the water so nobody really has to see you naked the water here is very milky you'll see when i go in the bath but once you're under it you really can't see anything it's not super clear or anything so it's not too embarrassing, but if that's not your thing, they do have lots of baths which are both for only women or only men. There's ones that you can enter alone as well and lock the door behind you so nobody will come in. So yeah, if you're shy about getting naked in front of people, uh, I totally understand. I like that as well, but there's lots of options for you at this onsen, which is pretty sweet. No matter where you are in this onsen, you get an amazing view. <laughs> so beautiful. Let's get in because it's really, really cold. <laughs> If you want a hotter area, you can sit near the area where the hot water is coming in. This is like close to boiling. This is so hot. But the actual bath area is a very comfortable temperature. I would call it like a, yeah, like a comfortable bath temperature. It doesn't feel super hot. Shiro no Yu bath, the white bath, as you can see by the white water. And this one is also known as Bijin no Yu. Bijin is like beautiful person and it's supposed to make your skin look really nice. So it has benefits like that. And it's also great if you have sore muscles. Just sitting here in the hot water is really nice. It's great if you're really sore from hiking or something, walking through the woods here. It's really beautiful here in Akita Prefecture. So if you come here and explore around and then finish off your day by visiting an onsen like this, it's just like the perfect vacation. So just to teach you guys like a couple of really basic rules about onsen. Before you enter the onsen, you should wash your body completely. There's a little shower room where you can wash your body with soap and your hair should be tied up so that it doesn't touch the water. So always have it in a little bun or clip or something. And you don't wear a towel inside the onsen. I'm only doing so for filming purposes. And that's about it. If you guys have any more questions about like onsen etiquette, leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. So as I was walking down here, I noticed they had stairs leading down to the river and I wondered why the heck anyone would want to go in there because it's close to zero degrees right now. But apparently in the summer, the river is a nice temperature so you can also bathe in the river here. In the summer, that would be absolutely amazing. I definitely want to come back here in the summer just so I can do that. This onsen has two water wheels. This is what they used to power the place before. It's awesome. I wish they still did that now. Look at those icicles. That's how cold it is here, guys. 
chilly day in Akita. All right guys, after all that hard work relaxing in the bath, I think it's time to go inside and get a nice warm breakfast. So this is what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I'm really excited about this one. This is tofu with grated daikon and green onions, and then it's got tonyu, soy milk, around it. So that's completely new. We've got a miso soup here, um, some veggies, some pickled veggies, umeboshi, big plum, rice, cabbage. This is called yamaimo. It's very sticky and gooey. So this is a special vegan version for me, but the regular breakfast will include fish and a couple other ingredients that mine didn't have. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of one of the rooms now. So this is one of the best rooms you can get here. You have your own private washroom. Whereas the other ones, uh, you need to share the washrooms with everybody. So that's pretty cool. But wait, it gets even better. Look at this room. It looks like a house. It's a full-blown house. And look at the amazing view you get all around. There's windows everywhere. This one's especially nice, this little hallway here. There's a little area where you can sit and do your makeup. Here's a sink where you can wash your face in the morning, brush your teeth. Very traditional styled sink. When I first did my homestay in Japan, their kitchen looked very similar to this. So it totally reminds me of that, which is really nice. In every room, they will leave an origami crane because it's Tsuru no Yu. Tsuru, that's so cute. And some snacks. And the tea set that you see in all the traditional Japanese hotels. Yukata to wear, towels for when you go in the onsen. Lots of extra futon. <laughs> you can come here with your whole family. There's more than enough space for everybody in here. The one really special point about this room is that it comes with an idori, a traditional stove, I guess you could call it. There's a place here where you can start a fire and then the ryokan staff will bring a pot in here that they hang off of here and they'll cook you some food over top of this little fire in your room. How cool is that? These are also all rooms you can rent. I think these are the most popular ones. They're drying some fruits and peppers up there. Let's see if we can get a peek inside one of the rooms. They're in the middle of cleaning them now. They're like little cabins, it's so neat. Hey guys, it's time to go home. I really hope you enjoyed that video and honestly, this is probably one of the top places I would recommend you to visit in Japan. I just had the best time. It was so relaxing and so beautiful and I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this place. Even if you're shy about going into onsen, there were the private baths and you're allowed to wear the towel right up until when you enter the mixed bath. and. One of the really cool things about it was the water was really milky, so once you're in there, you can't really see much. So overall, this was the best onsen I've ever been to, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching, and subscribe for more Japan content, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Again, I've listed tons of websites down below in the description box where you guys can find out more information about the Northern Japan area. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.